This one sounds like a lawnmower. What's up? Yours truly, Michael Ferreira, back with another Style Your Life. And in this segment, we'll be talking about oral health and we'll be comparing the Oral-B Smart Series 5000 with the Brio Smart Clean. Let's get into the content right now. So with that in mind, no need for an intro today. I wanna to make this information short, concise, and valuable to you immediately as we always do. So before we get into it, thank you for those that continue to subscribe. As you know, it means the world to me for your support and your continued likes, comments, and subscription. For those of you that are new to this channel, welcome. I know you did not come here by accident, so please subscribe. Hit that notification and please comment and like and share below. It'll truly, truly appreciate it. You get some valuable insight on this channel that you can use and apply immediately. So jumping into the content, I got two of these toothbrushes here and I compared them and I found out what are the goods, the bads, the uglies, and I want to compare both these devices so you can make a confident and an educated decision on the device that you should have. I'll share links below as usual so it can make it easy for your buying experience and that you can compare them yourself. But this is a genuine review as usual with my insights on the goods and the bads on both of these devices and which one you should choose and why. Jumping right into it, as usual, we're going to go into design, the build, the quality, the weight, uh, battery life, the actual functionality of the of the two brushes and the features and benefits and all of the above. A full genuine and detailed review, but I will try to make it concise and short so you can stay all the way to the end. With that in mind, we'll look at both of the devices equally. So as you hold them and as I pick them up naturally, going into the, the design and the weight of it, they both look great. So I will start off with that. I don't think you're compromising like one of these two brushes looks ugly or looks terrible or looks boring. They both look good. I do think in my opinion that the Brio just looks better because it has more of a modern chicer feel. Everything is very smooth and flush. You actually do not see any buttons or any lights or any uh, choices that you're making that does have multiple settings. Both of these devices have five settings, a, a heavier brush, a lighter a weight brush, a, a whitening, a cleansing, and a tongue section, something of the sort, but they do have all of the same features. But this one, you do not see any of the features on the, bus. They're on the brush. They're built in, and when you actually click them, they begin to light up. So it's kind of an underscreen display, if you will, and I kind of like that. It brings a chicness and a modernness to the device. The, the Oral-B Braun device gives you more traditional to where you actually can see which item you will be clicking or choosing when you're actually brushing your teeth. Additionally, when it goes to the actual selection, the Brio, again, I like the chicness and design. Many of you know as a fashion designer, design and, and look and feel is important. <laughs> so if you're a person like that, you will you know get this information to be valuable. The power button is the only button that's on the front. And I kind of like that. Again, it brings a simplicity, but the way that you change from feature to feature is you push the power button multiple times. If you push it within the first 15 seconds of turning the button on, it'll go to the next uh, option and again to the next option. So if you continue to click the power button multiple times, it'll get to the tongue function, the lighter function, or whatever feature you want to use. The Oral-B Braun, on the other hand, will give you more traditional. If you notice, it has two buttons, a power button and then a down button. And a down button is simply to go down to the next feature, right? A power brush, a lighter brush, a whitening brush, tongue, whatever. So it's what's expected. This is a little more modern and chic and new. I like that, um, but this does not compromise. It still looks good and it does give you all of the same features. As I'm holding them, it's reminding me of the actual feel of the brush. Uh, keeping in mind, this Braun actually does not have a full all-around grip. The grips are actually in two places, here and here, and it's designed for you to hold your toothbrush at this segment, probably in your palm, and then brush your teeth. Kind of awkward, but I get it because when I hold the toothbrush in this capacity, it definitely feels good and it helps me glide around my teeth and throughout my mouth very comfortably and very smoothly. On the other hand, quite frankly, I think the Braun may win here because the grip is all around. It has somewhat of this rubberized feel that's all around the whole back. So you can pick up the brush at any portion or at any space and feel comfortable by moving and gliding the brush around your mouth. This one is actually heavier than the Brio is. The Brio is a little bit lighter. This one has a little bit more weight. I don't think that is to say that 
the quality is better. It just happens to be the design. Maybe the battery is heavier here. Again, the grip probably will make more weight, but this is heavier, not uncomfortably heavier. Naturally, you use brushing your teeth for two to three minutes, so it's not the end of the world. But just know that this one is a little heavier. Now, going in to the actual function of the device, I do feel that, and if you notice, the 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 heads are different this one has a circular head while this one has more of a oval shaped head naturally capturing more area at one time now because this has an oval head the brio is not moving in a circular motion so i found myself having to still move my toothbrush in a circular motion to give a circular brush which we should do which my dentist has told me we should brush in a circular motion uh, when we're brushing our teeth and we would have to still do that with the brio because the, the the bristles are going up and down but when we go into the 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 oral b brawn this one is actually already doing a circular motion so there's no need to move in a circular motion because it's a circle the bristles are moving like this and it's giving you the circular motion that you need to naturally do when we turn these things on uh, i'll see if you can hear it on the microphone or through the the camera here but i feel that the noise level <laughs> is a is one of the biggest deal breakers for me this one sounds like a lawnmower like this toothbrush is so loud when you're brushing with it that it's literally uncomfortable i literally could wake somebody up by brushing my teeth with this it's just it sounds like it literally sounds like a lawnmower when I turn it on. It's so loud and I don't know why it's that loud. It just doesn't even make sense. I think that the Brio is moving at approximately the same speed as this one is, but it feels much more comfortable and peaceful. You know, you turn this one on and it's like a more of a premium feel like somewhat of a, a high level Sonic here. They're both moving at, you know, high wavelengths but the Brio is just a more peaceful sound. It's just not annoying, right? <laughs> this one, quite frankly, is just kind of annoying. And these are genuine reviews. This is not uh, paid or sponsored in any way. This is a genuine review. I think that the Brio is just a calmer uh, sounding device. So when it's in my mouth, it's not annoying to me. This one is just annoying. I totally could wake someone up just by turning this toothbrush on. Now, when we actually use the device, this is where it gets interesting even though this toothbrush is extremely loud it doesn't feel like it's damaging or hampering to my mouth but if you are nicking or have a, a a mistake where you actually may hit your tooth with the back of the toothbrush when i actually was brushing my teeth i may have missed some time and i hit the top of my tooth while i was brushing the bottom area of my mouth and the top part or the back part of this brio hit the top of my mouth and that was so uncomfortable i was like what just happened all right it was really weird and i don't know it might be just user error but when i hit the top of my mouth by accident with the back side of this toothbrush, it was really uncomfortable and I didn't like it. Naturally, it doesn't happen all the time, but I did it twice and it was uncomfortable every single time. However, when I found that I did miss or I hit my top of the mouth with this one, even though this one is louder, it didn't hurt as much. I don't know if it's because of the plastic or what, but when I nicked the top of my teeth when brushing the opposite side, I didn't feel as uncomfortable when I use the Oral-B and hit by mistake. Naturally, again, this could be user error. Maybe I should just open my mouth more when I brush my teeth <laughs> or I don't know. But regardless, this was uncomfortable. This was fine if I hit my tooth on accident. Now, one thing I will say is that this Oral-B has something that this Brio does not. This one does have a Bluetooth feature. Do you actually need it? Uh, probably not <laughs> probably not cool nice feature to have i think it will be more beneficial if you have uh, the bluetooth feature to like find your lost toothbrush uh, i have a daughter so she'd like find stuff and plays with stuff or if you're traveling and you're you need to find your lost toothbrush that would be cool but the bluetooth is designed to like pair with a mobile device so you can actually use it with your phone and like see where you should be brushing next and how long you should be brushing next 
the likelihood of you using that is extremely low. I used it only once, maybe twice, just for the intention of testing out the Bluetooth to see if it makes sense. Kind of a gimmick, you don't need it. I mean, at this point, you should know how to and what areas to brush your teeth. Moving on to the functionality and the features. Both of these do have internal timers. One thing that is different here and one thing that I like, um, you can decide if you will like this or not. The Brio actually turns off after the two minutes. So once you've done the four periods of 30 seconds, the brush turns off. However, the Oral-B Braun device when it does the two minutes of the 30 seconds in each region, the brush will give you a multiple pulse, but the brush will stay on. You will have to turn it off yourself, meaning that you can carry and finish any small portions or directly go into finishing brushing your tongue, the roof of your mouth or whatever else you need to brush um, in your mouth at the time without turning the brush off or having to turn it back on. With the Brio, the brush stops at the two minutes and then you have to turn the brush on to i guess brush your tongue or do whatever else you want to do in your mouth but nonetheless i kind of like the turn off feature because it kind of gives you a little bit more control and you can just get carried away by brushing for no reason you can decide if that's a good or a bad feature for you now um the cleanliness and the feel uh, I, I i think that because this is a full transparency here maybe because they've been doing it for longer i kind of feel that this one gives me i don't know more refreshing clean this one is a great brushing feeling i like the modernness of this but i feel because this is already giving me the circular motion this may be mental and it may not even be real but i feel like the circular motion and capturing the gums and all the above this one might be giving me a a, a more you know, better premium uh, feel of a cleanliness, but they both work great. Uh, I like the fact that this is more modern, more new. Most of us have probably had an Oral-B or Braun toothbrush at some point in their life just because they've been doing it for so long. Me being an entrepreneur and an innovator and a designer and a person that loves design, man, I just kind of lean to the new. I kind of lean towards the, the innovation, lean towards the modernness. Uh, but you will get great cleans from either of these devices. Uh, finally, as we go into the, the battery life, I do feel that the Brio actually wins on battery life. Uh, they both intentionally tell you that the batteries will last uh, long. This one does tell you that the battery will last longer. And I think it's true. I can go pretty long. I can go at least three weeks with these items without having to charge them and not feel like I'm compromising when I didn't charge them for the same period of time the Braun did die a little sooner. And with that in mind, I think the battery life of the Brio just wins. After I carried it on without charging it, I went well over a month, almost two months without charging this thing and not feel like I was compromising in the speed or the strength of the cleanliness. So something to keep in mind in battery life. That's also great to know when you're traveling, meaning that you probably wouldn't need to take a charger if you're going for a short weekend trip or a extended stay for either of these devices. You can just have the two brush and travel and move on. One feature that the Brio didn't have that the Braun does is that the Braun actually comes with a traveling case. That's cool, that's convenient. The Brio does not come with a traveling case at all. I kind of think it should, it would be nice, not necessarily needed, because you can easily drop it in a small compartment in your uh, travel bag or accessories case, uh, but nice to have a case to go along with your toothbrush to keep the pieces all in the right place. So that's really it. I love both of these devices. Um, I quite frankly haven't decided which one I'm gonna use. Can you tell me, help me? Comment below, tell me which device I should actually use. They both look good. Uh, I kinda like the look of this one a little better. But so you comment on me uh, and comment below and tell me which device I should actually use. Maybe you can help me. And also comment below and tell me which device you're using and why and what's the most important feature for you when choosing an electric toothbrush is it battery life is it speed is it features and benefits and the bluetooth and all the fancy stuff please comment and please let me know below i would love to hear your feedback and as usual continue to style your life in every single capacity it's yours truly michael ferrera have an amazing day style your life you can have every single thing in your life that you want as long as you truly believe We'll see you soon.